Okay, hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Um, this video here is one that I've been wanting to take a look at for quite some time because I feel that stairs could use a little demystification. Um, when you first start with a stair in Revit, it can be a little confusing because there are so many nested families within your stair type. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a stair here already defined and we're going to take a look at this and how to create one of these. This video is just going to be the creation of the stair in plan view and then I'll follow up with a second video that talks about some of the vertical elements and taking a look at this a little bit further, some of those nested families. Okay, so if I just take this away for the time being, I've got a little hole in my floor where the, the stair is going to be and I might have to modify this floor afterwards so we're just going to take things one step at a time so by clicking on the stair it changes my uh, my ribbon over to the creation of the stair ribbon and it wants me to define a run so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slap in a stair sketch and as you can see when I left click that's the starting point of my first riser okay and because I've got this background inverted with a, a black background, you can see the notes that are saying six risers created and you need nine more. That's because I have 15 over here. You can see my desired number of risers is 15. So basically what I want here is um, seven risers on either side here. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that over across and then start a secondary run until I have basically 14 risers and the landing. So I've got a good vertical, or sorry, good horizontal line here denoting the end of the landing. And when I hover over that, you can see that that is the actual uh, landing there. So what I'll do is I'll just use my align tool and I'm gonna grab the this wall and I'm gonna use that to align my landing. Now problem is is my stringers don't line up with the inside of this wall so what I want to do now is actually select this and change the dimension of that to three feet oh, three feet zero on that side and then I'll choose this one as well and modify that so that three foot four and a quarter is defined by uh, values that were already in the stair type so what I want to do now that I've got the accurate widths is align the stringers to the inside edge. Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong edge. And that'll make these uh, stair widths the way that I want them to appear. Okay, so I'm just trying to find that drywall line and the outside. Okay, and these are going to be three foot oh. and then I'll have that space that I need on the inside and this landing height now right now it's still at three foot four and a quarter I could back that up to three feet as well but you'll notice that this is this has come back now so again I'll just come back and that'll pull the whole stair if I click on this lock now and I modify that dimension uh, for the landing, it should move the stairs over. Oh, it's asking, it's saying it wants to move it back, so probably want to adjust these widths separately using the run options. So that's basically just grabbing this node and pushing it ahead one. If I do that now, now I'm missing a step and I, I need an extra riser in there. So. Here it's, uh, it's filling in that hole relatively decent. Again, you can see the outline of the floor. I could push that back, not really necessary at this point. Let's just hit our green check mark and see what happens here. Okay, so it's saying that the rail isn't continuous. I don't even really want that railing in there for the time being. So I'm just gonna delete that. And then there's an outside railing in here as well that I'm going to get rid of and I'll do the railing in a separate video because that has a, enough of its own content as well. Now you'll have your arrows in place here. You can just grab these and drag these down to center it if you like. And uh, basically you have your, your stair cut the way you need in plan. 
Okay, so let's just take a quick look at this in uh, the section view that I've got. And I'll toggle this the other way. So we're looking at the full stair. And now you can see that we have a, a landing with a stringer here and it's connecting at a certain height. So this can be adjusted again with the, the nested stair family. So we're going to take a look at that in a moment. Um, but what I wanted to do is just give you an idea as to how this will look in, in a section. Now, I guess one thing to consider is right now this there is a bit of a gap here. And if I come down here, I can just highlight over and see where this starts. So what I might be tempted to do is find out what these dimensions are. Right, so if this one, this one's two inches, um, what I might want to do then is just split this difference, right, and then make that one inch off of the level. And then when I come in to do this as a detail, I'm putting a one inch filler board in there. And that way there's a one inch difference on the rise here, and then a one inch difference on the rise here. And it's not as noticeable. I guess what you're trying to do is um, split that difference so that when you're walking up these stairs, it doesn't feel like a, a huge difference on the, on the last step. Okay, so now that that's done, um, We'll take a look in the next video at some of these differences with tread thicknesses, how the risers connect, and uh, the actual stair families themselves and the nested families within. So if you have any questions in regards to that in the meantime, uh, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye now.